All right, everybody, you guys want to see a magic trick? I'll just go ahead and go into the cockpit, press this little button, and that's my magic trick. It's this one right here. Rockets, everybody. Let's go ahead and take off this C-130 turboprop aircraft for military purposes. Look at this thing. I know it'll take off in a jiffy, too. We're actually not using any flaps. <laughs> no problem for the C-130, even. It's got a rocket to take off. Why? All right, great. Yeah, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back at Aircraft Review. Today, we're talking about the C-130, quite obviously. I mean, look at this very beautiful plane here. Ah, uh, wow. Just a genius classic, this plane, for sure. I mean, when did this first C-130s come out? Yes, in the 1950s. This plane is over 60 years old as a model. Over 2,500 of these have been built so far, and they are still being built Indeed, in many thousands of interesting configurations and lengths and everything, it's just absolutely crazy. And while this plane has just <laughs> gone through so many things, right? It's fought so many fires and all that stuff. It's landed on aircraft carriers. There's even a clip on YouTube that I'm going to show you right now. And yes, uh, I have to show this real life clip to you because in the flight simulator, the aircraft carrier for some reason has been broken for some months. So we're going to use the real life clip now, which works too. Look, look at this landing. Look Look, 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 it doesn't care at all. I mean, this plane is absolutely crazy. Also, I found this clip here of a very hard landing. I mean, look, <laughs> C-130 doesn't even care at all. I mean, look at this landing. I mean, of course, this is from the 50s. Very bad um, <clears throat> quality, but look at this landing. That was more than a Reiner landing. Yeah, this is a structural failure flight test, which is something that is very usual to be tested on planes. I mean, this is how this uh, DC-9 landing clip um, <laughs> was created. They did a hard landing test, and this plane didn't fare super well. The tail came off. This is just an all-time meme. But I'm honest, I just want to watch it again. I mean, oh, so beautiful. Yeah, but yeah, the C-130 over the last 60 years has proven to not care about anything at all. I mean, look at look at this takeoff here, too. Look. It'll just do whatever you want it to do. That is just great. Ah, yeah. The C-130. Also, have I mentioned, it's got rockets, which is like absolutely ridiculous. Like, what do you even need it for? But it's a lot of fun. Actually, it, again, it exists like that in real life with the rockets. I'll, I'll take it. All right. And I mean, yes, it is very hard to find a place where the C-130 actually cannot operate at in any way. Even landing is not a problem at all. And again, due to the rockets, just taking off is... Genuinely no problem at all, apparently. And let's come in for this landing. We're coming in very bad for this 900 meter long runway. Very high, very quickly. But no worries at all. Because we can just... <clears throat> actually just land. I just need to land. Come on. Land. Alright. That was a very bad landing. But no problem for the C-130. I guess we'll stop. Please stop. Oh, no. This will, this will be embarrassing, right? Yeah. That was embarrassing. <clears throat> Welcome to Swiss Air One. On this channel, we even get to overrun a C-130. I mean, did you see that landing, though? And it almost stopped. Somewhat. I mean, according to the numbers here, the C-130 can operate on airports that have a 3,000-foot-long runway. Actually, even a 3,000-foot-long dirt strip, which is even a lot worse. 3,000 foot, by the way, is 900 meters of dirt runway. Dirt runway? Yes. This thing can genuinely fly anywhere. This is that great. Yes, I mean, as you can probably tell here by this video, I'm a little bit of a C-130 enthusiast. You may be able to call me that. I mean, it, it, it can even apply reverse thrust in mid-flight. That's literally what we're doing. If this thing is able to fall out of the skies, quite literally, with <laughs> full-on reverse thrust, this is great, and we're coming in very badly for this landing. Holy moly, I'm sorry. I mean, yes, of course, it is time for the infamous Swiss Air One runway test. We're landing right now on a 600 meter long runway, which uh, is actually a bit shorter than what this plane is allowed to fly. At, but we all know. I mean, this operated on a <laughs> on an aircraft carrier. We, it really shouldn't be complaining. All right, let's come in for a landing. Now, in a usual C-130 fashion, a bit of a hard one, but a quick stop. Oh damn, that was really using almost no runway at all. But this is totally worked fine. Oh well. <laughs> but well, the actual star of the show, of course, though, is the rockets that we do have. Let's <clears throat> make some short runway performance take up. So, I'm going to put the engines to full power, get some of those flap hose out, as I like to call them. There we go. And go ahead and uh, ignite the JTOs like this. Okay, great. Take off. Let's see how fast this thing can actually go off 
the ground. Go ahead and uh, try to aim for like 60 knots. That'll be great. And uh, that's the takeoff. Holy moly, that was crazy. Of course, let's watch this takeoff here now. In the replay, for some reason, the uh, Jettos aren't showing up, but they are here. Uh, okay, let's see how long this... <laughs> yeah! And look how easily this plane lifted off. That was like below six seconds of takeoff roll, I'm pretty sure. Holy shoot. This plane can genuinely fly everywhere, can't it? Um, yep. Yeah, okay. Let's do that then. I mean, let's switch things up a little bit. Here we've got the uh, German island of Helgoland in front of us. It's got pretty much the shortest um, asphalt runway that you can probably find out there. It's got a 500 meter long runway. It's got a 400 meter long runway. It's got a 200 meter long runway. Now, we all know, for example, Saba Airport in the Caribbean too, which is said at least to have the shortest runway too. But that one is only 300 meters long. This airport here can beat that again at 200. We'll come to number 001. That's been a lot of numbers. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and land on this 500 meter long runway, which shouldn't be an issue at all, right? Right? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, it is <laughs> half as long as the actual required numbers say. Um, so let's just see if this is actually even going to work out. Here we go. Coming in nicely. Something. Oh, that's not been nice. Oh, I'm sorry. But I think that, that that's still like a reusable condition that this plane is still in, right? There we go. Stopped in like no... Look, look at that. I think we can land this plane on a helipad. I mean, this thing uh, fits genuinely quite a few people and cargo and all that stuff. And look at a... <laughs> that was just crazy. Yeah, this thing uses so little runway that it's just absolutely ridiculous. Even though I do feel kind of sorry about that landing. Oh, yeah. I mean, look though. It just stopped in no time doesn't even care at all. So it is time then to get onto maybe this 400 meter long runway and try doing a takeoff too. You know, but having like a 400 meter long runway is absolutely ridiculously low. I mean, you can barely even fly a Cessna on there. Why would you build that short of a runway if you can build a longer one? Which is probably the reason why there's only like probably like a few dozens of asphalt runways this short out there, right? So let's see if we can do this now. Initiate the Jato rocket like like that. Here we go. Come on. Switch the switch. No. Okay, another question is, do we even need their Jetta rocket? Okay, let's see if we can take off without it anyway. Good. That, <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah. Where could this thing not take off from? Holy moly. This was a 400 meter long runway. I mean, let's try the 200 meter long runway. It's literally right here. It looks like a taxiway. It's a runway. Yeah. 267. Let's do this. All right, let's do this again. Let's try to using the Jato rockets now. Here we go. Full power. Let's go ahead and set the flap and set the damn Jato rocket. This will probably be no issue at all. Let's take off. No, you gotta be kidding me. You have to be genuinely kidding me. Oh, wait, though. Huh? Okay. We did kind of run off to the side there, but on the other hand, we almost overran anyway. This was actually a little close to being close to the end of the run. What am I saying? Uh-huh. Maybe this airport is actually the limits of what this plane can handle a runway. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, the problem that I'm kind of facing right now is that this is pretty much the shortest runway that I can find, 260 meters. The only thing that I think this plane won't be able to do is actually land on this runway, though. Obviously not. I mean, if it was able to use the rockets in a reverse mode, meaning it would stop us, right? Maybe that, that would work a lot better. This thing could genuinely land on helipads then. Sadly, it can't, so we have to now use our normal reverse thrust to stop this aircraft. I mean, maybe it'll work. Let's give it a try. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. We are stopping, aren't we? We have we've stopped. Wow. But yeah, this is the C-130. What can I say? It beat the simulator. We cannot find a shorter runway than this. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Lair, The Slama, Futuring, Kellen, Me by You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Pyrology.